morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barra, in, I was almost almost said Seattle, Washington, Las Vegas, Nevada, joined as I always am on Mondays and Wednesdays by the lovely lady with the lustrous hair, my co-host in Hayden, Idaho, Jennifer Fala Doreen. Jen, Jen, how are you on this marvelous Monday morning? Great, doing great. Good. Um, I don't, guys, I don't know what's going on. Um, I guess I should, ha I have to restart my computer. I have no chat. I have no YouTube chat. I can't see anything. Um, I can't highlight it. Um, Jen, can you see the chat? I can see it on the side on the program coming in, but can not you, on the can screen. Can you click on it? Can you click on a chat and see if it highlights? No, I, I don't have that function. Okay, because Brooks used to be able to, Brooks was able to do that there. Blake was the other day, but Blake's an administrator in here. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, we don't have any chat. So, I'm not going to be able to answer any questions from YouTube. Um, and it's just one of those things that's going to happen. So, uh, okay, let's just deal with it directly. There was nothing explosive that happened last week. A lot of little incremental movements. Um, the only thing that might be considered explosive is all the earthquakes in Iceland, um, but it didn't lead to a big explosion. So we kind of got let down on what the angels were telling us, I guess, on Monday. But that doesn't mean things are not still in motion and it doesn't mean things are not still happening. On the Intel side of it, I've got nothing. I had one friend who uh, contacted a bank manager at Wells Fargo. And he pretended not to know anything about the currency reset whatsoever and um, claimed that the QFS was a crock. Now, I've talked to other people who have been using the QFS, who are involved with cryptocurrencies, who say it's not a crock. The only thing he was referring to or that he was talking about was um, digital currency stuff and digital exchange. And uh, so he basically told the deep state company line, I think he just doesn't know what's going on. He was a vice president of investments or something at a bank branch that is not at an elevated level within Wells Fargo. So um, that's all I can tell you. It was kind of disappointing and we were hoping he might know something or confirm something, but he did not. So I don't feel discouraged by that necessarily, Jen, but, um, it kind of leaves us with, uh, here we are on another Monday. You know, Mark was told it's going to happen this weekend. Back day, back, back wall is Sunday night. Well, it's Monday morning. Uh, Mark was told that. TNT Tony was told that. Texas Snake was telling you that. And none of it happened. So we're kind of left here and stuck in a situation. Um, we're just trying to give you the information that we have available to us. And Jenna, you know, have any comments on any of this or just, I mean, it's like, guys, don't hold us responsible. We're not in charge. We're just trying to relate to you what the information is that Jen gets on Mondays and trying to do our best with it. And I think we had a few minor confirms of stuff. I mean, it was, Jen, it was put out there that, it was put out there that Mike Johnson, the new Speaker of the House, that he, when he said there's not enough evidence to impeach Joe Biden, right now, which is ridiculous. There's overwhelming evidence of bribery, which is one of the things the Constitution specifically mentions as a justifiable um, cause of impeachment, right, is bribery. So that's a lie. Um, but some people were saying, well, he's only doing that because if they actually start the impeachment process, then that means that they've legitimized that he was elected in the first place. So I don't know. What do you think about that? And do you have anything about that in Gentile? I have not seen the Gentile this morning, although I'm anxious to see what the angels come up with today. Jen, any comments on any of this stuff? Well, we did have explosions last week. And if you didn't see it, you probably just weren't paying attention. Um, I told you that it wasn't going to happen this week. It wasn't going to happen. You know, it's not nothing that really happens on the weekend, you know. Yeah. About a week or so ago, I was getting information that we're looking at, like, after Thanksgiving, you know, take take think about it. That's true. You can have a big blow up right before Thanksgiving and piss everybody off when they're in transit traveling. So if it doesn't, we don't get something this week. We're going to it's going to be after Thanksgiving. OK, okay. now um, interdimensional meditation for 
November 13th um, with Archangel Michael and Gabriel. Um, so I've, I met them in the courtyard on the sixth level of heaven. And when I approached them, when I walked up, well, of course, I called them there, but they had all kinds of angels behind them. And I asked, what's going on? And um, Michael said, there will be an attack in the North Sea soon. And I said, what's the North Sea? I mean, what, what do you consider the North Sea? He said, just say North Sea. And I'm like, okay. okay. And um, all countries put on alert. The fight is somehow about gold right now. Um, who owns the gold, who controls it, and lifting some kind of restrictions against it. Then Gabriel spoke, and he said, we will see and hear of talks to give assistance to the poor soon. He took his hand and put it out like alms to the poor is actually what he said. Um you know, and in movies we see them passing out coins. And he did say coins. Passing out coins at church and you know, years ago or along throughout history. Um Michael said that stocks will fall on Friday worldwide and create a vacuum. Now I don't know what that means. Maybe mm. something to you. Mike, I said, what about the RV? Where are we at? And he said, best case scenario is now 1128 because of conflict. System collapse needed. They want to see some collapse. Um, I said, anything else? And then it was the bullet points. It was offshore drilling was one. <clears throat> Hurricane force winds. I don't know if those two are connected. Um, but that was another religion war and resolutions. So something's going on with the fight for gold. So they're trying to go to gold. Somebody's getting in the way. Somebody doesn't like the, you know, what's going on. And there's going to be some kind of something in the North Sea. Um, Trying to put pressure on someone to lift some kind of restrictions. We'll hear about that soon. He did not say this week. Don't panic if it doesn't happen. Don't get on here on Monday and say, well, we didn't really hear anything about that. You don't hear anything about that. I don't really care. Um, stocks will fall on Friday worldwide and create a vacuum. That was pretty clear. That was pretty clear. And I was talking to Mike and I said, are we going to get this before Christmas? Because I'd really like that. You know, mama really needs that right now. And um, he said, yes, if all goes well with the situation and the conflicts. And I believe it has something to do with gold right now. Um, so you can piece that together with whatever you're hearing from anybody else. Um, I've been out of the loop this weekend, really haven't, you know, I've got all kinds of things to do over here. And um, still game on. It ain't over till it's over. Okay. Now, let's get, let's get back grounded, shall we? I know that there are people suffering, you know, and everybody's tired of waiting and everybody is like, it has to happen now. Does it? I mean, if it happened now, tomorrow and a week from now, you know, before Christmas, just after Christmas, either way, we are fighting for something that is huge and we don't want to screw it up. And if I got to wait till January, I will. I don't like that, but I will. Now, this was an investment like anything else. Anybody who has a coin collection, anybody who bought silver, anybody who bought, you know, stocks or whatever, you know, probably not, you know, stocks, probably not the best plan, but it is. And it's a someday thing. Oh, <clears throat> I would say don't use the word investment. If you use the word investment, it's taxable. So it's not an investment. It's a currency exchange. And that's... 
been made real clear by a lot of people. So don't ever yes, in your that. exchange appointment and when you're talking to the tax man. But let's get let's get real here. That's what it is. It's the same thing as somebody buying collectibles. It's the same thing of buying anything, somebody buying or collecting anything that someday will be of value. Okay? It's a someday thing. Don't base your whole life on it. Yes, it is still happening. Yes, we're still waiting. But Christmas and the holidays are coming. You're going to destroy yourself in the process? You're going to ruin that for everybody around you? Get back into the real world and relax a little bit we they, we have never seen so many things lining up and happening we are watching a war unfold and gold is the flag that we need to capture and it's still happening we're still in the fight that's why there's been delays somebody last minute wants this or wants that or we got okay now we got this problem that's what we're watching and as much as i'd like to come out here and tell you it's happening today or tomorrow it's not okay it is happening it is coming everybody can get upset yell at me and say well i didn't see get what i wanted well put your big boy pants on and understand that this is a war plain and simple Probably for the biggest goal of all. And it's still, game's still on. Okay. Your turn. Um, I have nothing to, to add because I'm not hearing anything. Um, I think everyone involved with this and the Intel side has given up. Um, nobody believes it anymore. Um, nobody thinks... It's going to happen. Nobody has a reason why it hasn't happened. Um, nobody has an explanation for why it hasn't happened. It's been uh, laid out there to happen five or six times in the last few months. And every time they're told it's going to happen, it doesn't happen. And there's always, there's a difference between reasons and excuses. And everybody that I talk to now feels like it's just excuses. And the fear that's out there, and there's a lot of fear, is that... Um, there's just political gamesmanship going on and that, that because there's no economic reason for it not to happen. There doesn't seem to be any real significant political reason for it not to happen yet. It just keeps not happening. And I, that's got everybody very frustrated. And um, we continue to see the abuses of the American people. Um, we see Americans being tortured in jail for simply being at a protest on January 6th. And I, you know, I mean, everybody on my side of it is just really frustrated and, um, you know, they're losing faith, they're losing hope and, um, <clears throat> they're not, they're not happy with the powers that be that seem to have the ability to push this thing through and keep refusing to do so. So one thing I will say that's different is every year they ramp us up and say, it's going to be the best Thanksgiving ever. It's going to be the best Christmas ever. Nobody's saying that this year because everybody, you know, we're kind of in a boy who cried wolf situation where for the last six or seven years, that's what they tell us. And then it just doesn't happen. So we're all kind of in a waiting mode, I think on the Intel side of things, they're just waiting to see something to come through and something to, to move forward. Um, and, you know, now, I mean, we're now, we're five weeks into the thing in Israel. We're saving Israel for last, right? That was five weeks ago. Um, and nothing's happened in Israel. Netanyahu's not been removed if he's a guilty party. Um, Gaza has not been cleaned up. They haven't started to build a canal through the place, all of which I'd be in favor of. So we're just, I think everybody on the intel side of things has just really had it. And they're just kind of going to say, okay, well, we're just going to sit back and wait and see what you guys do. And I, I get a very distinct impression that um, not for their own selfish reasons, but just for their audience, that the Intel providers are just not going to, they're not going to forward the rumors anymore. They're not going to play the game. They're going to pretty much tell the white hats, you're on your own. Take care of this. We're not going to put your information out. You take care of this we're done dealing with you. So 
that's what's going on. And, you know, you look at a lot of stuff. I mean, Juan Savin telling everybody how terrible things are going to get and there's going to be attacks in the U.S. and Americans are going to be killed. And um, that's where we're at. That's that's where we're at. So that's where you're at. That's no, where, that's, that's, that's not where, where I'm at. That's where many other people are at. I'm just I understand you that. You know what? I'm just and telling you I what. have had to play the long game very many times in my life. Yeah. And this is another one. All right. Now, you want to cope? You want to get through it? You don't have any power over it. Okay. You just have to accept where we are. You need to make your own happiness. Okay. And if you want to give up on it, go ahead. You'll be back. Okay. Because that currency is still sitting in your house or wherever it is. And you'll be back. There is no going back. There is no laying down. There's just waiting. And if you can't stand the waiting, go do something else for a while. Don't you ever underestimate the strength of a woman and the power of prayer. And if you really want to get through this, then you need to get outside of yourself. Focus your attentions on somebody else. You want love? Give love. You want peace? Give peace. You want patience? Be patient. Show somebody else how to be patient. But you don't have any power over this. This is beyond our control. You're right. You want to destroy I, yourself I and your own home to be done by now. <laughs> and your own family? All over. So okay, I'm not going to come on here and give you hope. If you're going to try to break me down while I do it. You simply asked me, you asked me, Jen, what people were thinking on my side of the fence. And I told you where everybody is. I've had a few private conversations. I'm just telling you where everybody is. Okay. I guess we lost Jen because she thinks we're blaming her. We're not. I'm not blaming Jen for anything. So... That's going to do it for today. Uh, we have no new news and no new information other than the Gentel, which we appreciate. And uh, I don't know if I'll be back with Jen or not on Wednesday. It's up to her. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like this is okay. When it's not. And I'm not going to sit here and not tell you the truth when I'm asked directly, what are people saying to me? I'm giving you the answer in as gentle a way as I can. So... Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, 